All right, now let's talk about how to configure the Mio Mixer to get uh, signals from your hardware into your favorite sequencer. We're going to use Logic as an example right now. Now again, to configure the mixer the way you want it to, let's start with the template. Probably the easiest way to start, and I've chosen the ULN2 Basic. It gives me all my input channels here, and they're automatically routed to FireWire. As you can see across the top here, my direct apps are all pre-inserts and automatically routed from FireWire 1 to FireWire 12. Now, when you step into a program like Logic, which you can see on the left side of my screen here, all of the input channel names, like FireWire 1 through FireWire 12, actually do show up in Logic. So if I have channel 1 routed to FireWire number 1, you can see over here, the first input of my track is FireWire 1. And that's actually handled in the options under Audio, I.O. Labels. You actually can have Logic um, show either channel 1, which is the typical input 1, or you can have it whatever the, is provided by the driver, and in this case, uh, your Mio console is providing FireWire 1 through FireWire 18 for your inputs, and if you look at the output labels, it's DAW 1 through DAW 18. So you've got tons of, of choices in terms of the routing here. Let's bring up both sides in the menu here again. All right, so we have this first track set in here, so now that means that my vocal track, Analog 1, is coming into Audio 1. No big deal. Now I have a second track record enabled here. So if I want to go ahead and grab some post-processing for my direct app, I'd like to assign this to FireWire number 2. Now right now FireWire number 2 is being taken by this channel. Not a big deal. I'll turn it off. Not connected. And then grab direct app number 2. So now I can go ahead and throw maybe another EQ or a reverb. I'll go grab a reverb. How's that? All right, so now I've got two different signals here. I've got my pre-reverb going to the first audio track and my post-reverb going to the second audio track. So I'm not kind of recording you know, both sides. Now the, the inputs are very flexible. If I decide I want to take this reverb out, not connect it, and how I want this particular direct out of the first channel, I go to the second channel, FireWire number two, I can just keep switching this from within the uh, Mio console, but take a look at the driver here. Right now it's rooted to FireWire number two, which is audio two. If I change it back to audio number one, there it goes over to the first audio channel. So you can route, again, you can route anything anywhere. Now this takes care of the template, but what if you went from a completely bare mixer configuration? I, wanted, I do want to show you how to do that. So from within Mio console, go to Mixer, I'm going to clear the mixer configuration. So now i got nothing, and of course Logic is not seeing anything because there's nothing created. Go to Mixer, Configure Mixer. And we want a mixer to have, of course, a bus. Can't hear anything unless you have a bus. Now, we're going to add uh, Analog 1 and 2, so we can hear some things as our input channels. And we'll come down to the stereo channels here. And I want to have DAW1 and DAW2 as a stereo channel. Again, I have the input of Analog1 and 2 added and the DAW1 and 2 coming back from the computer. So when I go to configure this, here's my microphone channel coming in. You have Analog1, Analog2, DAW1 and 2 returning from the computer, and a bus. Perfect. So they're all automatically configured to that first bus, and all this thing needs to actually go out to my hardware, I have to assign the output of bus 1 to something. And in the, in the templates, they're automatically routed to what you think they should be, which is the uh, headphone output and your mixer, monitor mixer. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one to analog 1 and 2, and by holding shift, and, and holding down shift while I'm clicking on monitor left right, it goes ahead and mults, and shows that it mults with a little uh, diamond there, and a little mult 2. Okay. Now, Logic is still not seeing anything. When you configure your mixer from scratch like this, there are no direct outs, either through the pre-insert or post-insert. So all i got to do is to send this one to Logic, is choose direct out FireWire number one, and voila, there it is in Logic. And if I go ahead and throw an effect on here, let's grab a, a delay. Just a mono mono delay. I can go ahead, go ahead and grab a second direct out to FireWire number two, which will send the affected sound to number two, and there we go. That's it. It's just that easy. You send with FireWire. The templates are the easy way to go, but if you want to configure your own mixers, it's also simple to do that. And that's how to set up routing into a DAW.